Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Up to now, we have seen about the UX state management. We have seen right now in this video, we will implement the Vue.js authentication. How we can implement the authentication in the Vue.js? Let's try to see in this video. In the previous courses like Angular, we have already seen the authentication. We have implemented the authentication in the Angular. Same scenario, same like that only. We will implement this one in the Vue.js. So the same type of logic in Angular we have seen, right? The same type of logic. How we can implement this one in the Vue.js? Let's try to see in this here. Now I am starting here by creating a new project. So let's create a new project. View create view hyphen authentication. Authentication. Okay. So I am creating a new project. It will ask you about the Vue.js version. What is the Vue.js version that I need to create? So it will take some time. So it has asked me the version. So I am selecting the Vue 3 version. So if you click here, Vue 3 version, I am selecting. So this will install all the dependency files what are required for the project. So we will implement from the first onwards. So we will implement the routing, login, sign up, and all those things we will implement here. So whatever the whatever the things we have learned in the previous videos, we will implement here in this project. Okay. The project has been successfully installed here you will be able to see so let's go into the project folder and open the code in the visual studio after opening this one here now what we will try to do is so we need to set up the routes for the login and sign up right so now what i will try to do here let it take some time and here what we can do is npm install view hyphen router at the rate next as we are using the Vue.js 3, 3 version so we need to install at the rate next version okay now let it install the view router also now here if you go into this one let it take some time to install the router so view router is also installed let's go to the here and here what i will try to do is i will try to run the server npm run serve okay let it run this server also so the server is also up let's open the website yeah we are able to see the output right now we start we'll start the project so now we'll set up the routes slash login slash sign up routes we'll try to set up so for setting up what we need to do let's go to the main.js and here let's divide this one and uh, store it in the app variable and here in the same scenario you can do app.mount okay so first step is completed and now the second step what i need to do is instead of writing routes here so let's create a separate folder for a separate file routes.js or router.js whatever the name you want you can specify and here constant router is equal to and here what i will try to do is export default router i will do i will export this router and here we will be having create create router we need to create a router here and let's create this will take an object what is the object first one is the history history will be create sorry the name is wrong history will be create web history so now here i can write create web history okay so in order to get the type of uh, url format so whether you want hash urls or normal urls now we need to import it here at the top in the view router now here i need to define the routes so routes instead of defining it here what i will write to do is here i will take one routes variable and I will try to implement it here now what I need to do path if the path going to slash login load the component login okay we don't have the login component right let's try to de define this one and here let's go to the source so in the source I will create a new folder with the name pages and here in this pages what I will do is I will create login dot view one component and another one will be sign up dot view okay now here in this login dot view let's create the template and here i will give due and here i will give due and here i will give login page and my script will be this one and export default export default this one is the exporting the default thing okay so this is the bare template of the component and in the same scenario i can design the sign up page also so we have the two 
two components let's let's define the routing for this one so login component we have defined right we need to import the login here i can write import login from it should be on pages slash login dot view in the same scenario what we'll be having import sign up from pages sign up so we'll be having the sign up dot view so these are the two components we are importing and here let's try define the routing so here is one is one routing here and another one another routing will be again path it should be of slash sign up and it should go to component sign up okay so this is the routing so component sign up it goes to the component sign up and we have defined the two routings right so this router we need to mention it in the main.js how we can mention so for defining we are using app.use right so let's import the router we have already exported the default thing router right so we need to import it from the top import router from slash router app.use of router okay so we have defined the routing let's try to see here the output so now if you try to write slash login then also we are able to see the output why is why because in the app dot view we need to mention the router view here so let's remove these all the components what are the what is the boilerplate the view js default they have given so let's remove this one all and here i will write one div one div here okay and i will implement router hyphen view so whatever the component that is necessary for that routing it will get inserted there now if i go login see you will be able to see the login page if i click on sign up I will be able to see the sign up page. Now, one, th one thing is completed. Now, what I want to do is let's remove this, this uh, CSS what the Vue.js has given and let's try to install the, uh, install the bootstrap. Go to the get bootstrap. Okay, get bootstrap.com and get started. And in this one, let's copy the CSS uh, file and paste it in the public index.html at the top let's paste it here so now bootstrap we have inserted the bootstrap now what i can do is here i can write dot container dot row sorry dot calma 12 i can write it and in this one i can mention the div router now let's mention the div router okay just the bootstrap classes have applied and now let's go to the login.view let's design this login page how can I define how can I design this login page? I can write the form. Now here form group. Sorry. I can write the form group here. And in this one label. Okay, this one is all the bootstrap, so no need to worry. You you have if you have any design, you can app apply. Just I'm applying the email. And here what I will write is input type is equal to text and class is equal to form control form control i can do i can do like this in the same scenario let's copy this one and paste it with the password so i can have this one as a password and i can write this one as a password and now here i can have something like div class is equal to my3 my-3 and here i can implement the button type is equal to submit login and here i can write class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary this is a bootstrap classes so this one is a login page let's go here let's see the login page how it is so if i go here and if i print here login i'm able to see the login page here so it is looking somewhat uh, weird so let's try to add here one div and here i can add one h3 and uh, i will add login and i will draw one line below Okay, and another one what I will try to do is so here dot row call mod 6. Okay, call mod 6 and let's copy this one all do and paste it in this call mod 6. Okay, and here what I will try to do is offset typhon md3 to move it aside. Now, if I try to see the output, yeah, so this one is looking somewhat nice. Now, in the same scenario, let's copy this one and paste it here also sign up also same thing it will be but what will happen is here we'll be having the sign up and email and password and everything sign up so now we have we have designed the both the login and the sign up page okay 
So log in if you see here, sign and also the sign up also if you see here, you'll be able to see the sign up page. And now another one, what we will try to do is we'll try to add a nav bar also so that it will be very easy for us. Nav bar, and if I go down, so if we go down somewhere, yeah, we can copy this one and let's try to create a new component here the navigation dot view okay sorry the name spelling mistake rename and here i will use navigation dot view and i can write here template and whatever the template i copied i'll paste it here and here i will be having script export default so now it will be like this and now what i need to do in the app dot view i will import this one import the navigation from components slash the navigation dot view so we have imported here and let's add this one in the component section and here also add this the navigation here okay we have added the navigation if you try to see the output here see we have able to see the nice nav bar top so we'll change it we'll try to change this links also so then if we try to change those links then it will be very nice so now here if i go and what i will try to do is i will try to remove this one all and i can paste it as a home here login and another one will be sign up now if i try to paste here sign up now here i will try to remove this one for this anchor link what we need to do we need to add the router link instead of having this one router link and class is equal to nav iphone link and two it should go to home page right now we don't have the home page link we'll design it in the future now just i am adding it like this now in the same scenario i can have this one and i can paste it here and i can have this one as login and this one should go to the login and here the same the same thing i can copy this one and i can pay i can paste it sign up and this one will be the sign up okay we have pasted the router link so let's try to see the output here i'm able to see the login and sign up if i click here i'm able to move login and sign up okay so this is the basic setup we have did for the view uh, for doing the authentication in the vue.js application so we have designed the basic login and sign up in the next video we will try to add the authentication so when the user tries to sign up or login well, let's try to take the credentials and try to authenticate the user okay we'll try to see in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you